dear friends welcome to this radha's kitchen today today i'm going to teach you how to make lemon rice it doesn't matter if you use lime which is green in color this one or lemon the yellow one it's always going to be called lemon rice the ingredients you need first for the tempering are oil i'm going to use idayam sesame oil you can find this in indian grocery stores I love this because of the unique flavor it has. I have also tried using the roasted sesame oil I find in uh, the Asian stores, uh, the Chinese stores. But th that flavor is totally different from this one. And I like this better for lemon rice. If not, you can also use coconut oil or canola oil, olive oil, any oil that you have. I have used three tablespoons. Uh, you can use one teaspoon if you want to it's up to you how you wish to personalize and customize this dish to your taste but i love a little extra oil and an extra bit of all these ingredients for that ultimate flavor i have taken urad dal and uh, channa dal three tablespoons each black mustard seeds one te one teaspoon cumin seeds one teaspoon red chilies as much heat as you can take Mm, freshly grated ginger, green chilies, curry leaves, one sprig, um, hing or asafoetida, four or five pinches, salt according to taste, lemon or lime as required, how much tanginess you want, it depends upon that. Um, I have cooked four cups of basmati rice, just make sure that the rice grains do not stick to one another. Um, and then usually in India we take uh, peanuts or cashew nuts and we it's raw and it's fried in ghee or clarified butter and then we use that for garnish. What I have done is I have gone ahead and purchased nuts from store here. These are already roasted and salted. It has an assortment of peanuts, cashew nuts, brazil nuts, almonds, everything hazelnuts too so five kinds of nuts and uh, I'm going to use this instead of that if you so prefer you can also use cilantro to garnish but I don't like cilantro taste in lemon rice so I'm going to skip that the oil is heating up I'm going to add uh, chana dal and let it brown a little bit before adding urad dal The chana dal now seems to have become a little red. Now I'm going to add the white urad dal. Now I'm going to add the cumin seeds. I'm going to add the black mustard seeds now. Red chilies. mustard seeds are crackling now is the time to add the ginger green chilies and curry leaves I have switched off the stove now I'm going to fry this here on the pan with no heat now I'm going to take the asafoetida and add five pinches of it This has kind of cooled down a little bit. It looks really good. I can smell it. Now I'm going to add turmeric powder. This is the most important part of lemon rice. The most important ingredient is turmeric. I'm going to add one spoon. Uh, beware that the turmeric is very uh, spicy and pungent. If it's the first time you're making lemon rice, then just stick to a quarter spoon of turmeric. I always try to remember adding salt when I'm cooking the rice but I usually forget. So how do you mix um, salt in rice? Take one tablespoon water and uh, the required amount of salt. Mix it very well and then mix it with the rice first. Now let's take all the seasonings from the pan and mix it with the rice. lemon according to your taste a 
lemon rice is ready I am going to add the nuts delicious and yummy 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 lemon rice is ready this is my favorite favorite breakfast you can also serve it with different types of curries but i love to eat it all by itself and savor the lemony lemon taste so i hope you had a lot of fun cooking with me and i will see you in my next video do not forget to visit my blog bye